I'm Rachel and this is Josh. What's up? And we are here for OP Card Reviews, which is overly positive, not overly powerful. And in this video series, I make Josh sit here, look at one of uh, my picks for cards simply based on artwork or name, and he has to tell me why it's awesome. Yeah, I'm here under duress. This week's pick is... One second. Juju Bobble. Oh, man. This was old. Juju Bobble is an old card, and it is a very neat little card, and it looks like it has an eyeball artifact in somebody's hand. Why is it awesome, Josh? Uh, so Juju Bobble is cool. Uh, one co cost artifacts are historically awesome. Uh, you've got ones like Skull Clamp, Soul Ring, and this one feels like it's right up there in terms of power level. You can play it turn one, and it I, will never be bad. You can play it turn one, it's <laughs> never bad. You know, also, it has like one of the coolest mechanics Best ever. Best mechanics. Best mechanics. Uh, cumulative upkeep of one, it means that not only does it cost you one mana, it costs you one mana every turn you want to keep it around. And not just that, but it's like a pyramid scheme, right? If you pay one mana, you gotta pay another extra mana next turn, and extra mana next turn, it's like compounding interest. It teaches you valuable life lessons about how to spend your resources. So play it turn one, and then use your mana from turn two to just keep it up. Never yeah. play anything else. Yeah. All you need. And it's got a stellar ability. Uh, everyone knows that life gain is a core part of how you win magic totally games. Totally is. Yeah. Uh, it's how I draft. Yeah, it's how you draft. <laughs> yeah. Core part of how you win magic games, uh, you know, and all everyone knows that two mana for one life is the best trade-off you could possibly have. Um, it's way better than three mana for one life, or like five mana for one life. It's like miles better than that. But I'd say just overall, a solid example of Hawaii Visions is like one of the best sets of magic of all time and totally nailed in the first go, you know, how artifacts should work. Also, if you play a card, any card at all, you get to bury Juju Bobble, which means that you get to go like take it into your yard, dig up some ground, put it in there, and bury it, which is exactly where it wants to be and where it belongs because it's just so good. Are you talking about in real life? You just want to take it out of the backyard and bury it? 100%. It's what it wants. <laughs> If you play Juju Bobble or do you have another great card for me to make Josh review, head to the deck blog and comment there.